What's up guys, today we are back with Mort. And Mort, tell us what we're here to talk about today. Well, Mr. Riff, we are here to talk about video games that we want to see continue into the current and next generations that at one time were going strong or maybe just had one great game, yeah. but they've disappeared. And maybe they seem to be dead now and all hope is lost, but we want to speak into the lives and the brains of the world out there and hopefully it'll, it'll flow out into the rest of the world and actually happen so we want to start a online campaign to return these games and get a cut for the sales as well that's the number one goal and the only reason we do youtube in general let's get started money baby we got now <laughs> <laughs> So the first game I want to see brought back from the dead is the Vector Man series. Ooh. There is two of these games and when they first came out they kind of took my eyes by storm. I saw Donkey Kong before I yeah. saw this game, but when I saw Vector Man I was like, okay this is cool. It has like pre-rendered 2.5D, 3D looking graphics. You want to know something interesting? I don't know if you know this, but in Vector Man it's actually 23 different little sprites no way. to make the character and they all move in unison to look like one pre-rendered object. Now if, if you saw Vector Man come back on a modern console, what do you think that you could do with modern consoles and technology that would make it a unique game experience? What I want to see more of from Vector Man, if we could get a new Vector Man, is I still want the same style graphics, mm -hmm. but I want a lot more to happen in the background. Ooh. I want some crazy yeah. background features, almost like how Sonic Mania has all uh -huh. these really bright, cool backgrounds with a lot of moving parts. Yep. That's what I want to see. And Vector Man almost made a comeback. They almost had really? a third game. Blue Sky Software was actually working on another Vector Man game, mm -hmm. but they were forced to stop and they weren't able to do it. And then they tried to make another one. Some developers from Blue Sky Software yeah. left, tried to make another one, and that was canceled. Why do you think it kept on getting canceled? I don't know. They didn't want to see him come back. He's not a robot either. He's an Orbot. I read about it. An Orbot. Yeah. But you know what, Mort? It's your turn. Here we go! So the first game that I want to talk about is Blackthorn. I played this game to completion back when uh, it was out during the Super Nintendo days. And what I loved about this game was the cover mechanic. So you could hide in the shadows in the game and then these little goblins would be shooting at you and you could sort of just do this kind of dueling kind of fighting, which is really cool. Yeah. And then you could nail guys from behind you without looking in the most sort of Mom's not looking. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the back of the head. Yeah. And which guys were you shooting? Um, the goblin-y looking guys. Well, because a lot of us that had sadistic sides would shoot the civilians that were chained up because there's oh, no penalty no. for doing that. Did you do that? Yeah, now that I think about it, I definitely did. Yeah, sinner. But I wonder about on a modern console, what would I do? Well, number one, the controls in this game are admittedly quite clunky. I love it though. Yeah. It reminds me of the Prince of Persia style graphics where step, step, jump, grab, lift, move. Totally. Okay. It's like everything movement wise is on a grid. That's, that's totally like yeah. how it was. But I wonder, I, the game like Mark of the Ninja on Xbox 360 yes. that does the 2D stealth thing so well, I wonder would I want to play this game in like a 2D plane that's Blackthorn with updated visuals, um, you know, cleaner movement, etc. Or would I go 3D like Gears of War style or Oof. my favorite cover based shooter, uh, the Rainbow Six Vegas series. Um, I don't know what I would pick. That's hard. I could kind of see it working with a Gears of War style vibe, but as like retro guys, it's yeah. like we're always the first ones when they try to go new style, we're like yeah. they should have kept it retro to, <laughs> 2D for sure. I'm not that way. You're, in, you're Are you an elitist are you saying? Or? Uh, yes, I am an elitist. <laughs> Here we go! This next game only saw one game, and this was Base Wars on the NES. This game was actually made by Konami slash Ultra. If you guys don't know, by the way, Ultra is basically Konami's way around Nintendo's agreements to only making certain amounts of games. Like six games, right? Yeah, it was something, something really, really weird. Ridiculous. Yeah. But with Base Wars, is it is a baseball game, but in my opinion, the best baseball game I've played because for someone like me who's not into baseball, you get to play as robots, fast acting, fast moving robots. And one 
one of the best thing is, Mort, tell him what happens when there's a play, but the play is too close to call. Like, was he safe? Was he out? How do we figure this out? What do they do? Think Blades of Steel. We get into a big fight, except think Blades of Steel with actual blades of steel. <laughs> Literally. Yeah, the, game, the, the players will fight each other, they'll destroy each other, and that's how things get resolved in the future, with combat. Well, the funny thing is, actually, the reason they made the storyline, there's a storyline for this game. No. What it is, is the people of the world, us, are sick and tired of players wanting big salaries, so what's the best thing to do? Play with robots. Make robots That's that don't cool. need a salary, they don't need to get paid, but Base Wars needs to come back. In my opinion, it's kind of what, anytime someone's like, I'm not into sports games or baseball games, I'm like, have you tried Base Wars? That's cool. So yeah. All right, a series that needs to come back, The Suffering. It's like Resident Evil and Gears of War mixed together. At least that's how I remember it. It's a good game. Games? There's two of them, I think. Bring it back. Here we go! So, let's continue with the baseball theme like on it. the NES, no less. Except let's go softball. Dusty Diamond's All-Star Softball. This was one of my favorite games as a kid growing up. The reason why was it's just fun. It's built on like fantasy in the sense that the players that you pick on your team are not like regular players. You could pick like a witch or like El Diablo or just Diablo. Um, there's all of these kind of really kind of out there characters and you could assemble a team and play through a championship. Which I think is great because like every sports game or really game in general, for the most part, you want it, they put like the macho players, the good players, even yeah. base wars, it's like the guys with the guns and the lasers. Yeah. This is like, no, you got weird Sally Joe with the teeth smithing and a random Billy Bob in the corner. Totally random. And they all have different stats. And then the game is just a fun game. It's so well made. You it can is. rob each other of home runs. You could, um, you know, hop real high and float in the air and all this great, kind of stuff. great, by the way. The jumps are extremely high. And all of the fields are really unique, too. Some of the fields have an actual outfield with um, a border. Other ones, it's just a line in the ground, and you can knock out windows at the school on accident or whatever with the baseball. Uh, the softball, rather, not the baseball. There's also two modes. There's slow pitch and there's fast pitch in the game, too. I think it's so interesting that, too, we both picked not only two games on the NES, but two baseball, baseball games on yeah. the NES. What are the odds? I would love to see some kind of like motion control enabled softball game. I think that could be a blast. Especially a game like that because it doesn't take itself too seriously. No. Some of the more professional players who play baseball games, I'm sure, like, I just want a controller in my hand, which I like most of my games too. Sure. But when it's a silly game softball, let's go squirrely and play with some motion yeah. controllers. So, Dusty Diamonds, check it out if you haven't already. Here we go! For this one, I almost have to like take a deep breath because I feel like I could rant. Mm -hmm. um, probably the most upset I've ever been in my life has to do with this game, Silent Hill. Yeah. Silent Hill, in my opinion, is the best, the best horror game mm -hmm. by miles and miles. Why do you think it, it's so good compared to the Resident Evils and all the others? I strictly believe it's the brain. It, it uh -huh. hurts me when I play it, especially mm. as a dad now. Mm. It hurts my literal heart mm -hmm. when I play. The things that you're going through to go after your daughter, it even hurts my brain because I've been playing it sometimes where I'm literally so scared and I think to myself, mm. Would I go that far to save somebody? Mm -hmm. Would I be chased by Pyramid Head and by all these creatures that <laughs> scare me beyond belief? It's, uh, I would though, it's my kids. Yeah. But Silent Hill is a long running series, loved by many. But the part that hurts the most, one day PT comes out. Oh, wow, no. what, you never played it? I have never played it. Oh my gosh, let me tell you about it. Yeah. Basically, the game came out, this game comes out called PT mm -hmm. on the PlayStation. Nobody knows what it is. We work our hardest to get through it. And I'm thinking through this game, my gosh, this is a beautifully, gorgeously made, perfectly made, little short horror game. How long does it take to get through the demo? If you played it like the first run through before the internet was telling you how to play, yeah. a few hours maybe. Wow. Some people wow. spent like 15 hours playing it, 16 hours. I think it took me four <laughs> the first time without oh the internet. Gosh. Yeah. But you beat it and you find out PT stands for playable trailer. Uh -huh. And it's a playable trailer for Boom, Silent Hill. Guillermo del Toro is involved, Norman Reedus, Hideo Kojima. Yeah. 
fangirling. And it's it's easy to speculate about what the game could have been when you see names like Guillermo del Toro and Norman Hide Reedus and, Norman Reedus and Hideo. Hideo Kojima, because you know that like particularly for Hideo Kojima and Guillermo del Toro, their imaginations are extensive and oh their world gosh. creation is extensive. And I mean, you know, Guillermo del Toro has such a specific type of art style and world that he builds, I can only wonder what that game would have been like. And there's a lot of games, like let's say PT would have been the, you know, the end of the experience gameplay wise, yeah. but even just visually, I imagine there's a lot of different weird storytelling With, things that could have happened. Like Pan's Labyrinth, his brain, the way he thinks. Yeah. And then also, yes, Hideo Kojima is working yeah. on Death Stranding, which looks extremely out there, yeah. but I myself, I don't see Silent Hills, Silent Hill or Silent Hills coming back in any way, but I don't know who I'd want to get involved with it, even if it did come back. Well, there is the pachinko machine that you could play. That's true. Well, my, well my number one pick for sure, Silent Hill. I, I had to say this sadly. I said PT, the four hours I played was better than the past five years of horror games, in my opinion. So I've, I'm going to stop on that one. More, you can finish the video by yourself, bro. Hey, it's the Mort Show. I'm here to talk about some games today, and here we go, games and <laughs> Here we go! So my final pick is a fighting game series that's under two different names. Yes. The first is Rival Schools. The second is uh, Project Justice. Now, Project Justice and Rival Schools most people know Rival Schools, but For sure. when you come over and you to my my game room, I, I ask people almost every time, "Have you played Project Justice?" Especially people that know Capcom fighting games, because the the way that the games control are, are nearly identical. Yeah. You know, with some nuance, of course. But on modern consoles, what I'd want to see is I'd want to see them extend the, the types of animations and let the imagination run wild Got with it. the kind of silly things that you could do. It's true. There's two or three, you know, different sort of big fighting sort of. Uh, moves that each character does yeah. that plays to their strength. The principal has a move, you know, the health, you know, the, the, the nurse has a move, etc. cetera. Um, but that would be a really cool thing to do. And I just think because of how the imagination on this game got so wild and, and silly, oh, yeah. it would be amazing to see like with modern graphics, what they could do with something like this premise. I, I suspect that maybe the context of kids fighting at a school is not something that's gonna go over well, but because it's ah. so absurd, ah. I think that, that it might sort of quash that sort of bug. I like the word quash. Squash? As you meant to say squash, huh? I think quash is a word too. Oh, you're too smart. Everyone's smarter than me on this show. Here we go! All right, guys, it's your turn. What are some games you want to see revived from the dead? The modern day Lazarus games. Mm. The Lazarus games. <laughs> yeah, I like right? that. You like that? The Lazarus yeah. games. Please. What are your? What's your Lazarus game? That's good. <laughs> That's it. Hey, you guys. Honestly, thank you so much for watching. Again, give Mort some love down in the comments below. We we love Mort. We love having him on the show. So we'll do more good videos job. with him soon. Mm. We're gonna, we're gonna film more right now. Let's just be honest. Well, thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay. Adios. See you guys. Pixel Game Squad. Right, your Liberty. Wait. Subscribe to Metal Jesus, huh? Mm. Top 10 dead games confirmed that by that GameStop developers. Oh, from their, yeah, I like it. okay. Yeah, gone too far. Mm. The dark side of Shane Dawson. What's that guy's name? I don't know. There's like a weird thing going. I don't watch Shane Dawson, Jake, Paul, Logan, Pie, whatever their names are. <laughs> Hi, Riff and Morty here. Uh, <laughs>